We know nothing about the author or authors of the Iliad except what we can divine from reading the text itself. And from reading the text, people have come to very different views about the authorship uh, issue, the Homeric question, as it used to be known. Some people are so struck by the intense intelligence that this text exudes that they imagine a specific person responsible for it because uh, they find it easier to relate to the intelligence coming out of this text by imagining a person behind it. Others are more struck by the um, depth of the tradition out of which this poem comes, which is in itself a very creative and intelligent tradition, and so they are less interested in imagining uh, an individual author and, and emphasise more the uh, broader context out of which the text comes. These are two ways of responding to the text itself. What interested me, particularly when I was a student, was the fact that the name Homer was used in such different ways by different contemporary readers of the Iliad. And so I started asking myself, what do we know about the first texts, or sources that mention the word Homer? After all, the name of the author is not inside the Iliad itself. And when I started looking at the way the ancient Greeks thought about Homer, some very interesting things started to emerge. One was that for them he was an inspired uh, poet, very close to the gods, but also very humble and uh, helpless in his own life. So the stories about Homer told us something about his broad appeal, but also his vulnerability. And this is something that I keep um, in my own mind when I deal with this text that I think deserves um, careful treatment also because it's something valuable and potentially vulnerable.